Hello, I'm the 10 Minute English Teacher. Let's get you exam ready. Today we're thinking about love and relationships poetry and I'm going to be providing you with my guide to when we two parted. Before we get going, don't forget to like and subscribe. There are plenty of things on the channel to help you revise for English literature. Okay, my guide to when we two parted. So we're going to start about thinking what the poem is about. It is written by Lord Byron about his personal experience of heartbreak. So he's looking back on a past relationship that's ended. And in his poem, he compares the feelings he experiences to those that you might experience if you were suffering from a bereavement. So I'm going to start in the exam with a paragraph just very quickly and concisely explaining what the poem's about. And here is an example of that. When We Two Parted is a poem by Byron addressed to a past lover. He addresses his feelings and explores the pain of heartbreak. For Byron, the end of the relationship evokes feelings of anger and frustration. Byron also makes allusions to death to explore how the feelings of a relationship ending can be similar to those of bereavement. So that's my opening. That's how I would be starting in the exam. After that, I need to talk about the structure of the poem. Here is an example of me analysing that for you. So the use of the rhyme scheme and the control of the metre by Byron could reflect how constant the feelings of grief and anger have been. They have not changed or subsided over the years. Byron also chooses a cyclical structure, which is coming back to something from the very beginning of the text, returning to the image of silence and tears at the end of the poem to stress his pain. So we understand what the poem's about and the structure of it. Now let's move on to think about quotes to know for the exam. So quotes to know. The first one is silence and tears. And here's my analysis of that phrase. So this image is repeated to emphasize the pain he experiences. It's also chosen as the, at the end note of the poem to really emphasize the idea that love can be responsible for pain and anguish. We've also got this um, quote here, pale grew thy cheek and cold. So a couple of things we can say about that. Firstly, the idea of being cold and, and uh, losing the warmth of your body could elicit thoughts of death and links the feelings of heartbreak to bereavement. Another thing you could say is that Byron, who was known for quoting Shakespeare in company of others could be making an intertextual reference to Romeo and Juliet's falling in love. Romeo wishes to be Juliet's hand upon her cheek. So these references there could be suggesting that maybe they were once like Romeo and Juliet and no longer are. We've also got to sever for years and we can say that this metaphor suggests that the ending of the relationship was like an act of violence and was deeply wrong. We can also talk about the idea that this is stressing the idea that they belong together. It's an act of violence, they're parting. We've got a knell in mine ear, a wonderful metaphor, and we can say that a knell is a bell rung at funerals, so hearing his past lover's name elicits feelings similar to bereavement. We miss those we lose forever, and this is a loss that he will never come to terms with or truly get over. If you want to take it further, watch the video again, mute the sound, you do the talking. That will help lock this knowledge into your long-term memory. Think about how you might compare this poem to others, like Sonnet 29, I Think of Thee, or The Farmer's Bride, which also explores strong feelings in romantic relationships. You can check out my quotes to know without looking guides to revise the flashcards for the key quotes for the other poems in the cluster. And let us know what your favourite poem is in the comments and why. Okay, check out the other videos on my channel. I'll continue to have content. Feel free to ask something you'd like to see me cover in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and keep revising.